With free agency itching closer and closer, the Knicks signing Jalen Brunson is looking more and more like it's going to happen. According to Jake Fisher of Sports Illustrated, it's more likely now that Brunson signs with the Knicks than returns to the Mavs. And Chris Haynes of Yahoo Sports says that Brunson believes he could reach a level on the Knicks he could never reach playing with the ball dominant Luka Doncic. From what I've noticed, a lot of Knicks fans are skeptical about giving Jalen Brunson the four years, $100 million contract that he's expected to make. And it's understandable considering the Knicks' huge history of overpaying free agents. Not too long ago, the Knicks gave Tim Hardaway Jr. a four-year, $72 million contract that confused the entire league. And then they later traded Przingis to get out of that contract. And let's not even talk about the Knicks giving a washed-up Joe Kim Noah four-year, $72 million as well. But Jalen Brunson is worth it for the Knicks because not only is he a very good player, but he would also be a perfect fit on the team. And this video is going to explain why. For starters, Jalen Brunson fills a huge need that the Knicks have had for decades, and that's the need for a quality floor general. Last season, the Knicks hoped that Kemba Walker would address that need, but that signing was a complete failure. Kemba is still a good three-point shooter, but his injuries have taken away his speed that once made him one of the top point guards in the NBA. With the Kemba experiment being a huge failure, the Knicks rested Kemba in February and traded him on draft night. And outside of Kemba, the Knicks' options at point guard were all terrible. Derrick Rose is still pretty good, but he was hurt all year. Emmanuel quickly struggled mightily with his shooting most of the season, and Miles McBride is just a defensive specialist. The Knicks were so weak at point guard that Thibodeau decided to play Alec Burks at the point, and his natural position is shooting guard. Needless to say, the Knicks were in desperate need of some fresh blood, and Jalen Brunson will prove to be a huge help. Brunson is low-key one of the better point guards in the NBA. He averaged a solid 16 points and 5 assists per game for the Mavericks this season. It did it very efficiently on a 58% true shooting percentage. But even these numbers are short selling just how good Brunson truly is. Because he plays next to Luka, his numbers aren't as good as they could be. Brunson is very capable of dominating as a team's lead ball handler. In 17 games without Luka this season, Brunson averaged 20 points and 7 assists per game on similar efficiency and in the playoffs, Brunson brought his game to another level. The Mavericks were about Luka in the first round series against the Jazz and they still managed to build a 2-1 lead largely thanks to Brunson. Brunson averaged 32 points per game in the first three games without Luka, including a 41 point game in game two of the series. Overall, Brunson averaged 21 points and four assists per game on a Mavericks team that got all the way to the conference finals this season. The playoffs are much harder than the regular season. Bob Myers, the Warriors GM, has a famous quote saying that the playoffs are nothing like the regular season and that they're two different sports. Nick fans should know this better than anyone when Julius Randle was all NBA second team in 2021, but then fell off a cliff in a five games gentleman sweep to the Hawks. The playoffs is truly what separates good players from great players, and for Brunson to play at this high level for a Mavs team that got to the Western Conference Finals says that he's a big time player, something the Knicks desperately need. On the court, Brunson would satisfy the Knicks' need for a playmaking point guard. Brunson is a quick shifty guard that can break down defenders, draw help defense, and find the open man. He's also proficient at running the pick and roll and setting up the roll man for lobs and dunks. Mitchell Robinson would absolutely feast off the alley oops he would get playing next to Brunson and probably average a career high in points. Brunson's driving kick plays would set New York shooters up for plenty of catch and shoot three pointers. And Brunson's presence on the team would also benefit Julius Randle. Randall for the past few years has been used as a point forward, but he's really better off as a number two option. Brunson would take the ball out of Randall's hands and he'd also make Randall more efficient by getting him some much easier looks at the basket. Along with being a good playmaker, Brunson is also a great scoring threat. Despite being only six feet tall, he's a terrific finisher at the rim. He's also very good pulling up from mid-range and a strong shooter from the outside. Lastly, Jalen Brunson would help the Knicks a ton in clutch situations. Last season, the Knicks were horrible at closing out games. In clutch situations last season, the Knicks ranked second worst in the NBA. Anyone who watched Knick games last year can tell you why the Knicks were so futile in the clutch. The offense became really stagnant and would lead to Randall trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. 
and Randall was pretty awful in those situations, shooting just 37% in the clutch last season. Being able to close games made a huge difference between winning and losing last season and not having a legit point guard that could facilitate the offense and generate better shots for his teammates was sorely needed. Having a legit point guard like Brunson that could score and set up the offense could make the Knicks much better at closing out games. Now some Knicks fans are upset about the reported 4 years 100 million deal he could get, but that's actually a fair deal for what he brings to the table. That amounts to about 25 million a year. The top point guards in the NBA are making about 35 million a year, so it's not like he's getting star money. 25 would actually make him the 14th highest paid point guard in the NBA, putting him around the salary of guys like Kyle Lowry, Malcolm Brogdon, and Terry Rozier, and Brunson is clearly in that tier of player. And if Brunson makes the all-star leap that he believes he's capable of making, then 25 million a year for his services is an absolute steal. Overall, Jalen Brunson is a great addition to the New York Knicks. Is he a superstar? No, but he's a high quality point guard that fits a huge need and would make the Knicks a lot better. Do you think Brunson is a great fit for the Knicks? Tell me in the comments. If you want to see more dope content like this, drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.